So today I'm going to talk about different uh, terminologies that we use in the security domain, CVE, NVD, and CWE. So let's start with CVE. CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. So first I want to give you a brief uh, intro about vulnerabilities. What are vulnerabilities? So vulnerability is any weakness or flaw in the system that attackers can exploit to gain unauthorized access. For example, there can be a misconfigured firewall, there can be elevated access privilege, so the attacker can use these to gain access to any sensitive data or any system, right? Now let's come back to CV. So these are these vulnerabilities, right? Now it is a system designed to identify and standardize vulnerabilities in software and hardware products or systems. Who maintains it? So the MITRE corporation maintains it. So whenever a vulnerability is found in a product, it is reported to MITRE. Then, then MITRE publishes it by giving some ID and description to that vulnerability. Now, what will be the naming convention for that? So the naming will be like CV dash year dash unique identifier. So basically, for example, if I have the name is CV dash 2021 dash 44228, that means this CV has been found in 2021 and then there is a unique identifier. So therefore, the CV has been identified and it has been standardized. By giving this unique identifier number, anyone can see it uniquely. Now, what is the importance of CVE? So the first point is it is it helps in risk management. So organizations use different softwares and different libraries in their products, right? So let's take the example of Log4j. It is a very famous uh, logging library, which is used in Java. Now, if there is a CVE associated with it comes, Right. So if I as an organization, my organization is using uh, this log4j library, then I will have to assess the risk associated with that CV and I will have to do some patch management. I'll have to uh, uh, apply some fixes. For example, in the case of log4j, we have to update the Java version to 2.12. So therefore, here it is helping in the risk management. And secondly, it also helps the security professionals to reference and discuss the issues with the products used in, the, in their systems. Now I'll take you to the CV website. So this is the MITRE's landing page for CV. Here we can search the, uh, here we can search the CV by the CV name also. And you can also search the CV by the name of the product also. So for example, if I want to see the CVs associated with log4j. So you can see that there are so many CVs which are associated with log4j. So this was the one which was a, uh, which was uh, related to this Apache log4j. Now, if you go to this uh, CV, so this is the CV ID, and then you will find a description, a little bit, uh, a little description about this CV, and there are some references, right? And then there, this link you can see, which is learn more at National Vulnerability Database. So now what is this NVD? So basically, this it is a repository for the CV, CVs, right? So it is a repository of CV information. So here you have seen that there is very small information about that CV is given, but when you go to the and we and we didn't see this particular CV listed there, there will be much more detail about the CV will be given. So if I click on this link, I'll reach to this page. So this is the CV 2021-44228 detail, right? Now, so you can see the description is given. After that, the CVR, CVRT, this is called the CV, this is CVSS score is also given, which is the CVRT score related to each of the CV. So here you can see the score is 10, which is very critical. Then there are references to the advisory solutions and tools. So these are some of the suggestions or the tools or the advisories or the solutions it is providing. You can refer these to get some idea related to this and how you can remediate it. 
after that it also list that what are the cwes associated with it i'll come to these cwes in the later part of this video but for now you can see you can just uh, take it at that the, the cwes are associated with this and then the known affected software configurations what are the affected versions and this so this much information will be given on this uh, nbd database and then you have seen the cva is listed here moving on to the third Moving on to the third uh, terminology, which is CWE, which is common weakness enumeration. So you can understand it as an, like this will be a generic list. So for example, you have a, uh, you have a, uh, for example, you have this cross site request forgery attack, right? Now this cross site request forgery attack is, there is a CWE associated with this. Now there will be some CVEs that can that can make so the, those CVEs will act as a particular examples. So it lists common software and hardware weaknesses that can become vulnerabilities. So these are the weaknesses, but they are not vulnerabilities, but they can become if some sufficient steps are not taken. Now I'll take you to this uh, CWE list uh, website. So here you can see this. This is CWE cross site request forgery, right? Now the, the, the description is there. Then the what are the consequences, how it affects the confidentiality, integrity, availability, non-repetition, access control, what is the likelihood of the exploit, then the demonstrative examples that how it can occur. Then the observed example. So this is CV. So these all CVs are related to this particular CWE. So basically these are the specific examples of that particular CW. So we have a concept and then we can see that implementation of that concept, we can relate CW and CV like this. And then what are the potential mitigations? So potential mitigations at each phase, architecture and design phase, what you can do, and implementation phase, what you can do. So these are the potential mitigation. And also it is list the detection methods that how you can identify these risks. So this is it. So one to one, you there will be one to many mapping between CWE and CV, and this information can be used by architects, managers, and developers to develop solutions free from these potential weaknesses. So today we have seen that what are what are what is a CVE, what is NVD, and what is CWE. Thank you. See you in the next video.